Hello everyone, how are you today? I'm Dr. Paramjeet and you're watching Dr. Education. Today we are going to talk about autophagy. It's a very, very important topic and you need to know about this even if you think you know about this because there have been so many wrong promotions on this topic, so much wrong information, so many myths have been fed to you that you are confused. You think you are clear, but you're confused. I'll prove you wrong. I'll prove you how you are confused. Just listen to me till the end. So let's start. So autophagy is basically survival of a starved cell, right? Put in a short word, this is it. Survival of a starved cell. If a cell does not have enough energy, it uses whatever it has for energy, right? And that's how it basically degrades in an orderly fashion whatever cellular components are there which can be recycled right something whatever unnecessary products whatever dysfunctional products misfolded proteins whatever protein aggregates or some bacteria or viruses invading viruses which are killed also they are also recycled for energy Right? But how does that happen? Obviously, in order to recycle them, your cell, each and every cell in your body has to separate them first from the other parts of the cell. So it basically uh, covers them into a capsule which is called autophagosome and then something called a lysosome which is a, a bubble filled with enzymes. Lysosomes have strong enzymes which can actually degrade anything, almost all these things, right? So this autophagosome goes and joins lysosome and then ultimately whatever is inside that autophagosome is degraded and then used as energy because it goes down to whatever it is made up of carbohydrate proteins or fats right that's how things are made up of so this is when it is done in a macro level means bulk in the bulk right see macro now autophagy is basically of three types macro micro and chaperon mediated you don't have to understand that all you need to understand that big big molecules inside the cells can be uh, can be processed like this by a macro autophagy in this there are bulk autophagy and selective autophagy bulk means a lot of stuff is used especially when you don't have any energy right and selective means uh, it is it will use something like a mitochondria in the cell is used uh, fat cell is fat is the fat stored in the cell is used then it is called lipophagy mitochondria is used then it is called mitophagy if a dead uh, infected obsolete Organ, organism is used called xenophagy intracellular organ is used called xenophagy so something like this it happens now and if a smaller things are used very small small protein particles are uh, recycled then you don't need an autophagosome directly lysosome can engulf those smaller particles and then digest them and use it for energy right can give it to energy do it for energy right that is microphagy but all these autophagy is regulated, is mediated by genes, ATG genes, right? Autophagy regulating genes, right? And other things which regulates these things are proteins and enzymes. Enzymes like mTOR, like AMPK, mTOR is your growth factor. Any growth or um, growth promoting um, factor enzymes can inhibit autophagy and any uh, AMPK is like anywhere wherever there is a deficiency of energy you will have whenever there is cell energy is less you will have increased autophagy obviously when you don't have money you, you sell your things so when your cells don't have energy they will use whatever they have right that's why in a disease state whenever a cell is disease it will adapt to stress and use autophagy to survive whenever there is an intracellular growth a virus a bacteria they will be used for for energy as autophagy and if you are starved if you don't have uh, uh, energy then for energy and survival you will use autophagy in normal people also autophagy is going on right now also you and every single person autophagy is going on to promote programmed cell death obviously and uh, to actually repair for to uh, to do the repair mechanisms and homeostasis as well as morbidity morbidity means that 
whenever there is one cell whose uh, life whose purpose is solved whose life is done whose life span is over it undergoes first it tries autophagy as much as it can and then ultimately when there is dysregulation of autophagy because of the genes because of that particular telomere shortening then that cell undergoes non apoptotic uh, programmed cell death basically your cell you are made up of cells your cells can die because of three reasons one they can die because of apoptosis apoptosis is programmed cell death right programmed cell death and there is something called as uh, necroptosis necroptosis means your cell died because of some other reason maybe because of infections maybe because of trauma and then that dead cell is basically degraded and it's 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 uh, it's it's used up that is necroptosis right and non programmed cell death is when autophagy of a particular cell goes wrong right and that's why when autophagy is dysregulated you that particular cell might not function normally and then whatever organ whatever tissue that cell belongs that organ that tissue might not function and you may have a disease so many chronic diseases like diabetes right infections and cancers and neuronal diseases are because of dysregulation of autophagy in parts not not completely that's not the only reason right that does not mean if your autophagy is 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 perfect you might you will never have cancer that does not mean that why because you need to understand a concept see whenever you have calorie restriction you will have increased autophagy it's not necessary to just fast if you have a calorie restriction whatever cell in your body does not get enough calorie it will do auto regulation out of it will have increased autophagy because that cell needs to increase its own life span so autophagy has a life span prolonging effect no doubt right and whenever there is decreased autophagy there will be accumulation of damaged organelles in the cell and accumulation of all these damaged suboptimal cells leading to your aging leading to diseases like osteoarthritis and other diseases right during exercise you have autophagy to to have that muscle homeostasis right because all the toxic substances and other products used you know accumulated in the muscle they are used in cancer there are it's a two edged sword yes why because cancer cells are atypical cells right they may be killed because of autophagy and they may use it to grow also it can protect the cancer because cancer cells grow very fast and they use the energy which is which is present around them very fast so they lack they will become starved very soon so a starved cancer cell will also use autophagy to survive yes so autophagy is not the best thing for cancer but while autophagy goes wrong in the cancerous cell it can also die right so survival of starved tumor cells can also happen and it can kill the cell also and there are something called uh, researches which have been done on this field by various scientists especially yoshimi oshumi have done a very great research for which he received a nobel prize it was not to find out this process this was found out in way back in 1960s right and uh, he basically found out how this autophagy happens it he demonstrated the actual mechanism the genes the enzymes which actually take part here and he basically demonstrated them in baker's yeast and then compared it how this is this would have been happened in 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 humans the chain reaction of the protein enzymes is demonstrated so that now we might be able to control this autophagy alter this autophagy make medicines to actually increase make medicines to target autophagy to actually target those tumors and kill them right targeted or autophagy is possible because of that research because of this reason he got nobel prize not because autophagy has been discovered so autophagy is a good thing autophagy happens all the time but autophagy is not something which will make sure that you never grow old you will never die it's not the base of all the disease it's the base of many chronic diseases 
just like diabetes just like obesity if you become obese you will have heart disease you will have you will have metabolic syndrome you will have a lot of diseases right so autophagy is an important aspect of human body which you need to understand right it will increase it will increase inflammation if you don't have auto it will it will help in immunity it will help in anti-aging longevity right it is good it is good for healing it is good for recycling that's these are all good things which you can achieve even by losing weight even by doing something like a good balanced diet right so autophagy is a concept it's not a miracle cure it's something which is going on inside your body which we need to understand right so calorie deficit is the main thing which actually stimulates autophagy you don't have to try and increase autophagy in your body all you need is you need to decrease the amount of energy which you are putting inside your body so that when you don't have enough energy inside your body will use your the, their you know stored proteins stored substances fats and become healthy right so this is the concept of autophagy right there are so many things which can stimulate autophagy it's not just fasting you do you know that coffee coffee polyphenols weight loss stimulates autophagy there are medicines which stimulates auto even stress even stress in you know a, a internal stress psychological stress or physical exercise stress will stimulate autophagy right infections will stimulate autophagy right in those cells wherever there is an infection if infection is in your lungs your lungs cells will try and survive in that state uh, by autophagy right if you if they do if they have less oxygen if they have less glucose less blood anemia blood loss everything will stimulate autophagy right this is the fact right and whenever there is a growth wherever there is a muscle growth thing wherever you are you are providing a calorie surplus to your body it will inhibit autophagy because your all the cells in the body have enough energy so they don't use they don't need to use autophagy so that's why mTOR which is the main uh, growth promoting fact protein kinase which is growth promoting promotes uh, growth in your muscles in your tissues is actually um inversely proportional is is inhibits autophagy right insulin insulin promotes mTOR that's why insulin also actually inhibits autophagy that's why eating a low calorie diet eating a low carb diet will increase your autophagy so all you need to do is understand the concept and don't fall for fake promises fake people out there i hope this information gives you a clear idea what autophagy is and how it works if it did give me a big thumbs up and do let me know in the comments below and do share this video as much as you can it's important thank you so much for watching i'm dr paramjeet and you're watching dr education stay connected stay healthy